How's it going, everybody? Well, I just made myself a trade. I traded a rifle for an LCR. I had the uh, the Ruger 1022 Takedown USA Shooting Team Edition rifle that I'd bought, I don't know, a year to a year and a half ago. And I bought that solely thinking that down the road, you know, it might be worth, you know, some money. Well, I got impatient and I was, you know, looking at prices and stuff. And yeah, you can make a little bit of money on them, but not a whole lot, but that was a rifle I wasn't going to shoot. And I thought, well, I'm going to put that thing up on arms list and just see, you know, what kind of reaction I get. Well, I've had it on arms list for a couple weeks, and I had a guy contact me, wanting to know if I was interested in any trades. And I said, well, you know, it depends on what you got. And he told me that he had a Ruger LCR. So uh, many of you already know that here in just the last week, week and a half, I purchased the Ruger LCR X. So some might ask, why would you want another one? Well, this one here is not a regular LCR. Well, it is a regular LCR. But this one here is a 357 Magnum. Now, this comes with your typical stuff. I'm not going to bore everybody with that. I actually got a pocket holster in the deal with the uh, revolver as well as that ammo right there. This revolver is still very tight. He says that he's got absolutely no more than 20 rounds through it. I know my new LCRX is pretty stiff. This button here, it feels the thing feels like my LCRX did as brand new. It is in really good shape. Uh, after this guy came, he came to my house, did the trade. Um, this guy has got all kinds of firearms, lots of them, expensive ones too. But he had said that he had purchased this uh, for his wife to shoot 38s out of, and then if he wanted to shoot, you know, 357, you know, he could do it. But even the extra weight of the LCR 357 model over the straight LCR, uh, the recoil on the 38 was more than what she really wanted to deal with. So. He was looking to get rid of it. <clears throat> he wanted the rifle for his son. I guess his son's favorite color is blue. And, uh, you know, the the takedown USA shooting team limited edition rifle, the stock on it is blue. Anyway, so we made the trade. I got uh, 350 rounds of ammunition, the pocket holster, the revolver, box and everything on the trade. You know, I looked up the Golden Sabre. And then the Winchester silver tip. Hollow points. How much a box of this would cost new? And just these two boxes of ammo on Midway would run you $77. You know, this, we got uh, 357 here. 357, the rest of this is all 38. Some of them are not plumb full. If you do the math on this, there should be 375 rounds, and I think there's actually like 348. But still yet, you know, I was about to pull the trigger on buying some more 38 because I'm literally down to like 50 rounds of 38, or I was down to 50 rounds of 38. So a little bit more about this. This is a five shot, 357 Magnum. Of course, you know, you can shoot 350 or 38 Special out of a 357 Magnum revolver. This is just like the 38. It has your polymer here and then your steel here. Now this is beefier than the 38 Special. This, this right here is 17 something ounces. Let me just stick it over here. 17.1 ounces with no ammo in it. Now I'll be doing a, a, a video here lately, lately, later, you know, with the 357 and the 38 kind of a side-by-side -side look, showing the, the different weights and, and what have you on them. But uh, this is your standard LCR, has a phenomenal trigger. I know I've had that open about five times. Got to look again before I pull the trigger. But the trigger on this is very smooth. 
questions how this thing is out. Let's just do a, a quick trigger pull test here. Just to see what it is. Nine six. Nine twelve. So, you know, nine and three quarter pounds, something like that on the trigger pull on it. But the, the, the pull is smooth. It's very, very smooth. And this gun, I truly do believe, has not been fired much at all. Just by the stiffness of it, um, it's, it appears to be in like new condition. But uh, I was looking at the LCRs seriously ever since the LCR X came out. I was in a gun shop <clears throat> here in town probably a month and a half ago. And they had the LCRX and an LCR 357. And whenever I was looking at the two and feeling them and holding them and what have you, I kept going back to that 38 because it's, I mean, the lightness of it is, I mean, it's noticeable. You know, 13 point something ounces to 17 ounces, I mean, it's noticeable. But even at 17 ounces, this revolver is still relatively light. Um, the guy that I got it from said that whenever you shoot 357 through it, he said it's not a pleasure to do. He said it's, it's it doesn't hurt, but it's just not like it's fun. And I was like, well, I can imagine it probably isn't. But if you're carrying this for personal protection or whatever, you know, having that the power of the 357 over the 38, it, it gives you options. That's the way I see it. It gives you options. And I really wanted to, you know, have one of these and. When he kicked out, I told him, you know, well, what do you got for trades? And he came back and said he has an LCR 357. I told him, yeah, I'm definitely interested. I haven't even looked at this. Let's see how much carbon buildup is on here. This guy's, are, like I say, he's, to hear him talk, he was getting ready to work another trade. After he left my house, he's, he said he has a lot of guns. That's how he puts it. He has a lot of guns, and he's doing some changing and what have you. And he has a has a uh, sub-2000 kel 9mm Glock mags. And when he left my place, he was going to trade that for a Glock 30 SF plus 500 rounds of ammo or something. No, I'm sorry, a Glock 30 S, not the SF, the S. So... Yeah, he apparently does this kind of stuff. He has Tavors and all kinds of crap like that. So, you know, he likes his guns and, and you know, he apparently does trade them and, and all that kind of stuff fairly often. So I think that I came out good on this. I think I came out good. Uh, this pistol at our gun shop, when I seen it in there that day, and the LCR 357 is not easy to find. I was really shocked they had it. They were getting 499 for it, you know. Um, with this ammo, I'm, I mean, I'm figuring I got at least $150 in ammo there. So, you know, six and a half, whatever, the little pocket holster, that's negligible. But uh, the way I see it, I have I have about five and a quarter in this. No, no, let's take that back. If I just go off what I paid for the 1022, um, I have four... 430 and everything you see right here right now I got $430 in this revolver and the ammo is what I have in it because that's what I had paid for the USA shooting team 1022 and then on the deal I gave him $100 cash as well so I got that 1022 for $330, $100 cash, $430 is what I actually have into what you see in front of you right now. So I think that's a, a good deal for me, and I'm real, real happy that we were able to make a deal on it. The guy was a really good guy, really nice guy, so I'm real happy that we was able to get together and, and make a deal on this. I'll do a, another video later 
uh, with the LCR X38 and this LCR357 and kind of do a side by side, you know, not a head to head comparison, but just kind of showing the size differences and, and that kind of thing between the two. Anyway, you all have a nice day. Uh, I keep getting a, a few more subs than I used to. I don't know what's going on with that, but I do appreciate all the new subscribers. I still have a hell of a time trying to reply to comments uh, on my iPad. I hit a reply button. The thing doesn't do anything. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. It's very frustrating for me. Once in a while, I can get it to work. But I just want everybody to know that uh, I do appreciate all the people who do support my channel and uh, do subscribe and pass the word. So y'all have yourself a good day, and we will talk to you soon.